So my name's Sally Moore and I'm the Senko and Head of our Learning Support. I support children who have barriers to their learning. So that involves um, working across the school, so I work with children from preschool right up to the sixth form. We have opened recently an autism specific unit, we call it like Soteria, who's the Greek goddess of safety, and we're designed to be a safe place. I work with the children up there who have um, autism and perhaps other needs, who struggle to access a mainstream education, and we help them get into the lessons and support them to be resilient and independent as they grow. There's a variety of ways that we support them. Every child who is on our SEM register has a pupil passport. A pupil passport outlines their specific needs, um, which makes sure that all teachers are fully aware of their needs, their strengths, their difficulties, and the things that they can do as a class teacher to support them. We have regular CPD sessions for teachers, which means that teachers are very well informed on particular needs that children may have and the strategies that they can use in class. We have been crested accredited as a dyslexia specific unit. Parents can be very sure that children with dyslexia have their needs very well met right across the school. As a crested accredited unit, we provide specialist one-to-one -one lessons for children with dyslexia. So that means children may come out of lessons such as Spanish if they're in the senior school, they come to us instead. And in that time, they have a one-to-one -one lesson with one of our specialist teachers. Our teachers are postgraduate trained. It's not a TA following up a scheme like toe by toe. The lessons are highly bespoke. They are tailored towards individual needs. We do follow a programme which is cumulative, highly structured and phonically based. It is tailored to meet an individual student's needs. We are a mainstream school, so our children are edu educated within the mainstream school and they have to be. We can only meet the needs of children who can attend a mainstream school. We're not a special school. That means that all children who come to us may have difficulties. We do have um, a, a significant number of children who have EHCPs, but their needs can be met within the mainstream school with a little extra love on the top. Our Soteria scholars come to us because they have perhaps failed in a mainstream school, where because of the bigness of it, the busyness, the amount of students, the sensory overwhelm that they can struggle with. Our scholars um, come to us instead. We become their form. So first thing in the morning, they'll come to us. They go to um, uh, the core subjects. So they go to English, Maths and Science and they go within the mainstream to those lessons. And we place them within um, with, a, with a buddy and we help support them within those lessons. And they're supported with a TA as well, who, who helps to look after them, make sure they get there and that they are comfortable in the lesson. They then pick another two subjects that they'd like to study. So they might do art and ICT, they might do history and geography. They choose two that they'd like to do. And then the rest of the time when they're with us, we have an autism specialist and they do mentoring with the autism specialist. And in that time, they'll be looking at how to develop that resilience and that independence. We help to organize timetables for them to make sure that they know exactly what's coming up and when. The rest of the time, they will do guided project work or they'll do independent work, so they have um, a lot of downtime built into the day so that they can feel comfortable so that they're not overwhelmed by the sensory nature of being in a busy, in a busy school but they're very much educated within a mainstream school.